Looking into how artificial intelligence will impact the classroom as students across the Bay Area prepare to head back to class. Well, we've heard that some districts and teachers are pushing back against AI tools. Others are actually embracing it and teaching it to their students. Let's get right out to ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick live in Tampa this morning. Keely, you looked into this a few months ago. You checked back in with several districts this week. So what's changed? Well, Adia, now most districts are doing away with the hard ban on artificial intelligence tools. Many are actually embracing it and teaching AI systems in the classroom. Technology continues to expand and adapt, changing the way we go about our everyday lives. This technology is going to affect every field of study, right? There's no, there's no scientific or artistic field of human endeavor that, uh, is not going to be affected. John Licato is a computer science professor at USF. He tells me AI is slowly but surely being implemented into our everyday lives. So educators have the choice to embrace it or ban it. We've made the decision to be curious and investigate and embrace artificial intelligence because we feel that um, it is our job to prepare our students for careers and uh, for post-secondary study. This is Joanne Glenn. She's the principal at Pasco County's newest school, Angeline Academy of Innovation. Glenn tells me AI is the bleeding edge of innovation, and she wants her students to learn from it. At the Angeline Academy of Innovation, they're building a pathway of courses to teach artificial intelligence. And Glenn says Pasco County schools will use AI tools in other avenues of study as well. I still believe that the human element is, is necessary, so technology, at least right now, is only as smart as the people pushing the buttons. We're going to train our students to be able to use that technology the right way. While many are embracing AI tools, others are hung up on ChatGPT. This is an automated chat box that some students have used to cheat on assignments. The way it works is you plug a prompt into the chat box and within seconds, ChatGPT generates a full competent response. While Licato is on the side of embracing these tools, he says there are some settings where ChatGPT should be avoided. There are some limited environments where you do need to completely ban it. So, you know, uh, some intro writing courses. But Principal Glenn says they'll teach kids how to use ChatGPT the right way and use it to enhance students' learning. We feel like the conversation around banning those tools is, is a little um, tone deaf. Uh, we want to make sure that our students understand um, how and when it's appropriate. I reached out to many Bay Area school districts about this. Hillsborough County tells me they banned ChatGPT on all school devices. The other districts have not gotten back to me, but if they do, I'll post their response on our website. That'll be at abcactionnews.com. Reporting live in Tampa, Keely McCormick, ABC Action News.